Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm Cameron with Exodus and today we have a video that has been highly recommended and I'm going to be showing you how to format your SD card on a Mac. So let's go. So the first thing you're gonna need to get started is a dongle if you're using a newer style Mac. This is a 2019 MacBook Pro that the connections are only USB-C and it does not have an SD card reader. So we will need some type of dongle to use the SD card to be able to read the SD card. So I'm gonna do an eight gig card and I'm also gonna do a 64 gig card because if you're running any type of Exodus cell camera that the 64 gig portion of this video will be important to you so stick stay tuned for that but first thing you need to do is obviously plug the SD card into the dongle and go ahead and insert that into the computer so in the top right hand corner you will see your SD card and right above that a little bit to the left you'll see a magnifying glass it's a little search icon go ahead and click that and type in disk utility you'll see disk utility pop up, double click that, and then your screen should look like this. Now on the left hand side, you'll see your internal memory and anything external. Down here, external, you have your Exodus SD card or any type of SD card, whatever it's titled, it doesn't really matter. This is where you're gonna go to format the card. Now, this card is already formatted, but if you had Anything on this card, it would show how much space you have used up, how much space you have free. This is an eight gig card, and I have 7.94 gigs free. That's pretty standard. Um, there's always gonna be some type of partition or something on the card that's gonna take up a little bit of space, but that's not a big deal. So, one thing to pay attention to is the file structure that your card is in. This card is in FAT32, and FAT32 is what you're going to need for your SD card to be compatible with most trail cameras. If your card is an XFAT, this is extremely important for cell camera users, especially Exodus render cell camera users. If your card is in XFAT, you will need to change the file structure to FAT32. And like I said, I'm going to show you how to do that when we format the 64 gig card. But for these purposes, let's go ahead and format this eight gig card. At the top of the disk utility screen, you will see the erase button. And if you hover over that, it says erase and format the selected volume container or device partition map. Select erase. Now you can rename it if you want to. I'm gonna leave it as Exodus. And then here's where you can change the, form, the file structure but we want it in FAT32, so we're gonna leave it there. We're gonna go ahead and select Erase. Now the computer will do its thing. The format process is now complete. Go ahead and hit Done, and you can safely eject the card. Right click, Eject, and now you have a clean 8 gig SD card to use in your trail cameras. So with the 64 gig card, like I said, it is important to note that the default file structure on a 64 gig card is XFAT. And for best results, you will want to change that to FAT32. So let's go ahead and plug this into our dongle. Same process, you'll see the SD card right here in the top right screen. Go ahead and select your magnifying glass. Type in disk utility. And now you'll see Exodus down here. And as you can see, this has XFAT on the file structure. That is what we want to change to FAT32. And you can go ahead and format this card and change the file structure all in one step. Same thing, go ahead and select Erase. You can keep this name as Exodus and go ahead and select MS-DOS FAT. That is your FAT32 format. So. Once you go ahead and do that, select Erase. The Erase process is complete. Click Done to continue. Now if we go back down here, you can see that there is 63.85 gigs free. And 
nothing or er, 18.7 megabytes used and the file structure is now ms-dosfat32 so that's it everyone that's how you format an sd card on an apple macbook if you have any questions please drop them in the comments below and if you're new to the channel make sure you're subscribing and give us a thumbs up